Sassuga Bass. Now, I wanted to make this video comparing the two games because the player bases are always arguing. However, after starting my research for this video, I just became very sad. I searched for Valorant crowd reactions and I swear I got two results. Two. Not only that, but some of these reactions from the Valorant crowds look like how parents would react when going to their kid's school event. <laughs> It's like the audience just watched a nice round of golf. Or they watched one of their family members get a strike when they went out to go bowling. I'm not even sure why they posted this. I'm pretty sure this is Valorant's official YouTube channel. Even the comments on this video are not impressed. This one comment had me weak. Like, why are there so many screens? There's no way you need four screens facing the same direction showing the same thing. What is going on? Actually, correction, not four screens, six. Six screens. The best crowd I could actually find for Valorant was the one I showed in the beginning, the one from Japan. However, I don't feel like anything's really going on here. They're just slapping some sticks together to make some noise. And if you look at CSGO crowds, like half the people in the crowd here have their shirt off. Now look at this crowd from the Paris Major that just happened in CSGO. <laughs> They're not even cheering for a game. They're just cheering for a player on stage. In fact, CSGO crowds are so loud, they get hype when players just get near each other. From a ramp, and Acor's been checking it from time to time. Oh, my foul. A lot of noise being made, and Acor, he's... I actually feel bad for Valorant. Like, when I came into this video, I actually expect it more. Like, here's a clip where apparently someone from Valorant does a great entry, and I don't think the crowd even looks that excited. Victor can be there, spamming away less. Takes a little bit of damage, but what? he's in the sight! Purchase looks a little rocky. Yeah, he's got his blade storm already. Now, I know I'm a CSGO lover and not a Valorant enjoyer. However, I feel like there has to be an explanation for this besides for the different types of people that would go to each game. And here's my idea of why this happens. The reason I think this happens is what I like to call the Cassidy effect. Now, many of you probably do not know Overwatch, and don't worry, because neither do I. However, in Overwatch, there is a champion called Cassidy. And Cassidy has an ability that allows him to get everyone on screen in one shot. And I think this is not as entertaining as something that might represent real skill. Now, I know Valorant is not Overwatch. However, Valorant does have abilities that are like this. And I think when you have a game with these crazy abilities built in that already sort of make everything over the top, it might be hard to get excited for some of these things. I don't know how to explain really what I'm saying, but I guess the way I can explain it best is there's a quote from the movie The Incredibles where the villain says, if everyone's super, no one's super. And that's sort of what I'm saying here in Valorant. Everyone has these crazy abilities that do very flashy things on screen. So they're sort of happening all the time. So when they do happen, I feel like it makes sense that the crowd would not be as hype because they're used to seeing it probably all the time. However, in Counter-Strike, seeing crazy things is not super common. There are some games in Counter-Strike where nothing really crazy happens at all the entire game. But in Valorant, I feel like there's always going to be something crazy happening because it's built in. And personally, I think this is the problem for the crowd reactions. Everyone is super all the time. Well, anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it because I actually feel quite bad for Valorant. But if you like these type of videos, perhaps leave a follow and uh, have a great day.